Hello. In this video, we'll be going over the microRNA-seq analysis workflow on Deterium's site app platform. After logging into your account, you'll go to your laboratory and the project that you'll want to uh, add microRNA-seq samples to. Um, you can see this project already has several processed microRNA-seq samples. Um, to add a sample to the project, you click this Add Sample button. Make sure the microRNA-seq workflow is selected. You can give your sample a name. In this case, we're using a geo-accession number uh, to download the data. Uh, name your experimental condition and give the information about the cell or tissue type. Uh, you can select your reference genome that the reads will be aligned against, and input your FASTQ file either from the file manager, which uh, has local files that are already on your satellite that SiteApp is running on, or the FTP connection, if you've gotten that from your sequencing core, or uh, if you want to use a geo session number, this is the format that you would give and attach. And then the advanced parameters um, are just for the adapter that you would like trimmed. This is you know, the adapter that was ligated during your library preparation. And then the number of threads that uh, you want the workflow to use primarily in the alignment steps. And then you hit Save Sample, start downloading the data, processing it, and finally give you this page of results that gives you the sample name, a uh, couple, the couple of the inputs, uh, input data that uh, the user gives about the sample, the MirDeep2 results PDF, uh, a little blurb about how to interpret the uh, novel microRNA candidates here, uh, some additional inputs, primarily the genome that was used for alignment, and then the adapter that was trimmed. And finally, the alignment and microRNA metrics, giving total reads that were processed, reads that had at least one alignment, and the percentage, and then some simple counts of uh, novel microRNAs that were detected, known mature microRNAs that were detected, as well as exosome-associated uh, known microRNAs that were detected. So first, we'll go into the MirDeep2 report, which has uh, this summary of the MirDeep2 performance, but primarily of interest for this workflow are the novel microRNAs that are predicted, as well as the list of mature microRNAs that are predicted. Um, and this report also has some handy links that give that links to the generated PDF report from MirDeep2, giving you some detailed information about those microRNAs that were detected. Uh, has a, a link to NCBI's BLAST, which will autofill the query there and uh, run a uh, BLAST search against their database. And also there's a link to uh, the known mature microRNAs that are detected linked to that in Mirbase. Um, and this just brings you to the page for that uh, particular microRNA with its associated data. So going back to site app, we have additional tabs for QC plots, base frequency, quality control, estimating distinct reads based on total read count. We have an IGV genome browser, which shows you the aligned reads, BAM track, your known mature microRNA, as well as reference uh, gene annotations. And then we have three different tabs that just have a table of known microRNAs uh, that were detected in your sample, microRNAs that were detected, uh, as well as detected exosome samples, which is a subset of known microRNAs. Um, and this is a database uh, from Exocarta that has microRNA associated uh, with exosomes. And as in all our workflows, we have intermediate files here for downloading. And this wraps up the microRNA analysis workflow. Thank you.